Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. And today, in this video, we're going to show you an overview of the latest product from BBC, and that is the Microbit V2. So BBC's Microbit, if you don't know, is a development board on which you can do all sorts of projects just like the Arduino. And now they release a second version, a V2 of their development board. V2 when compared to the V1 has significant changes. So let's dive straight into what those changes are and see what makes this more than just an incremental update over the V1. These changes should be advantageous to all you people who are seeking to make new projects and whatnot. And the limitations that you sort of had in the V1 are no longer there in the V2, which makes this a much much better product from the Microbit Foundation. So new features that this has are that this now has an onboard speaker and an inbuilt microphone which is really cool which opens the door to many more potential projects that can be made and the microphone now has an LED indicator to show if it's active or not. The logo is now touch sensitive which acts as a capacitive button actually so you can map it to actually do stuff. There is now also a power on off mode unlike the V1 which was when connected or plugged in it used to be on all the time until you plugged it off. But now there is a physical power on off mode which you can just press a button to put it in off or sleep mode and even when plugged in actually. The power regulator can now supply around 200 milliampere of currents in the V2. The V1 sort of had issues like jittery connections when connected to some components because the current that is supplied wasn't enough for the components to operate at full capacity but now there won't be issues like that in the V2. Also, the antenna is now exposed in the back as you can see over here. Bottom connectors are notched which makes it sort of easier to connect stuff to it like clip wires etc. The hardware changes that the V2 has over the V1 is that the CPU in the V2 now gives 4 times the performance that the V1 gave at 64 MHz. RAM and the storage also have been doubled by 64 KB and 512 KB respectively. This is more than enough for all the projects that you will be doing on the microbit. Uh, this should be much more than sufficient and everything should work seamlessly and perfect. And that was it. This was a simple overview of what changes have been made on the Microbit V2. Some changes that are really cool and some changes that were absolutely necessary for this thing to work seamlessly and perfectly. And now this is a complete and great recommendation of a development board. If you want a full review of the Microbit V2 from us, leave this video a like and comment down below what other type of videos would you want to see from us. Uh, we're gonna come up with a lot more project videos on the Pi 400 and even this guy. Subscribe for that and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.